All right. So yeah, last time we got a lot more deeper into the story because yeah, I didn't die this time and yeah, Bazette and Avenger, they, they have a quite the interesting dynamic going on. And then, you know, we also got, uh, uh, um, uh, yep, yep, totally worth it, Ilya scene, where we almost got a Heaven's Dress 2.0, and I don't mind at all, because, again, no problems. Anyway, uh, let's see, we got Saber and Sakura. I mean, I'm going to check over here first to see, just to see, but I'm probably going <laughs> to talk to one of them, but we'll see first. Nobody at the temple. Oh, we got a new Lancer scene, too. Yeah, I don't have to go to school. Yay. <laughs> All right. Um, then... Talk to Sakura. Senpai? Chotto iyi desu ka? Oh, also. So, I recently got a comment about um, Shinji. And because I got in the first video, I was like, I don't know if I might, I might skip Shinji scenes because he's freaking Shinji. But since they suggested that I should do his scenes because they're pretty funny, we will do that. So, and since we're doing Shinji scenes, we will do literally every character's scenes, okay? So, plus I realized that like some of them, like, but like some of them aren't new. So, you can, so it seems like you can't actually get every scene in one, in, like, one playthrough. So, well, I mean, one playthrough, quote unquote, like it puts you back at the start, but you know what I mean? Like, you can get every character's scene going through this so so we can do that then so since we're doing strangers we'll do literally everybody's so don't worry about that <laughs> just so you guys know anyway what's up soccer as the rest of my room i hear soccer's voice sure i reply and she comes in あれ、俺洗濯物を出してなかったとかいえ、そうじゃないんですけど今日の晩ご飯どうしますえああ I rise up. Because mean that a lot more people are coming over for dinner. We might not make it in time if we didn't if we don't start soon. I feel like Saber's suggestion probably costs a lot of money. Just because she wants a, lo a lot of portions. I got that. My break has been interrupted anyway. It would be it would be more meaningful to help out Sakura now. I know, but Fine, I don't mind. <laughs> 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 そんなことないです。まだ先輩から免許改善は受けていませんから。The <laughs> secrets of the art over again. うん。それは良かった。We <laughs> food wars now, boys and girls. じゃ、仲良く一緒にいるよりするか。先輩、その笑顔は反則です。I <laughs> never finished that show. <laughs> like it was really good and I liked it a lot, but I never finished. I think I watched like one season because every time I watch it, I would get hungry, so I needed to have something to eat with me. <laughs> that was a good show, though. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Let's go make some food. There might be a problem here, too, actually. No, I was thinking about it. I might want to eat while I do these scenes as well. <laughs> Sakura notices something and stops. Yeah, that's a box of fruit. New what was I about to say? I was say Nujini. That's a box of fruit Fujine brought over. Darn it, Daiga. <laughs> what was that sound effect? <laughs> I start picking them out of the box. The size should be about right. Sakura, today's meal is this. Ah, nice. This is the meat. Well, リンゴに劣らず、かき盛り料理に使える。サラダとかにするだろう。だから今日はこいつを使おう。It'll certainly be a first. 
It's about time we start exploring the culinary frontiers, though. The guide of cookery must have put these in our house to guide us. Okay, Shiro. Fedeida, Sako uses a skirt to carry the permissions. To what now? Alright. How should I put this? It's a really feminine thing to do. I'm actually a little envious of the permissions now lying on his skirt. Hey, yo, bruh. <laughs> I see. Senpai, menu ni suru in desu ka? Sakura asks as she washes the rice. I did say I was going to use them, but I can only stare at them now, piled on top of the cutting board. No matter how much I stare at the- Oh, fuck. My bad. Every time, man. Every time. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, uh, history. No matter how much I stare at them, no ideas come to mind. I finally give up and look inside the refrigerator for more ingredients. With a lot of ingredients, it's like solving a puzzle. Kore to kore. Kore mo na. Mmm, bacon, nice. I like potatoes too. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Gotta give it to her. It's pretty accurate for just glancing over the ingredients. Looks like she hasn't noticed a dumpling wrap or cheese, though. I'll be wrapping and frying them. I'm gonna cut the permissions of cheese and fry it all in gyoza wrap. And ah, then the only seasoning will be salt, right? Okay. Mm. That's pretty good to be honest, like gonna lie. Either way, it's still a pretty simple dish. We are yet to leave the side menu territory though. Sakura's reaction is only lukewarm. I know what she wants to say. The dinner table would indeed look pretty desolate if just this much. Sakura's <laughs> <laughs> Chef Mato. As I assume my, as I assume my didactic, my darn it! As I assume my didactic tone, Sakura strains her back in attention. <laughs> her face. <laughs> he just has two chef knives. いい反応ありがとう。それでだな。今日は柿尽くしの食卓。これがコンセプトなわけだが。Jeff Mato's eyes are fixed on me, full of anticipation. Uh, nice. Namagash, <laughs> 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 Sakura, please. Sakura is surprised I'd have recently gotten a big role. ごめんなさい、先輩。私アイディアがないというか。いや、割とネタはある。じゃあヒント。今日は柿尽くしの食卓だ。ああ。うん。あ、もしかして。Does like she picked up on it? Wasting no time, she gets out a package of seafood from the refrigerator. That's right. It's just a permission special night. Dude, I had oysters recently and I don't like them at all. Like, I like most seafood in general, but like, I did not like the oysters. Yeah, yuck. 
Yikes. I'm sorry. I cut it. I just cut it. That's a complicated way of speech my student has adopted. Yeah. Let's get back to the レモンで食べられるほどの新鮮なやつか。贅沢できないよな。で、牡蠣は何がいいかな。フライ。あ、私グラタンにしようと思ってたんです。フライもあるといいですよね。Alright, we all set both concept and variety. The dish is planned. There shouldn't be any complaints. Even Fujine should be happy. じゃあ、手分けしよう。サラダとグラタンはサクラ。焼き物は揚げ物は全部俺で。そうすると先輩の方が仕事多くないですか？ホワイトソース引くところからサクラやるんだろう？だったらそっちの方が手間になるんだし、火加減のあるものは一人でや
What was Raido's luck stat? <laughs> a howl echoes in the distance. Compare this and this. Repeat a hundred times to determine whichever one is greater. What kind of game is that? That is, in a game that balances both luck and skill, you can't judge skill with just one or even with just one or even ten rounds. Skill is something that would be revealed over a long period of time, not a single match. That said, Fujini's line of thought will destroy her. Playing a hundred rounds won't result in a tie. It will just make their respective abilities painfully clear. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, she seems to be an expert at deceiving herself or something like I. Let's see. I guess about three more times would be enough. <laughs> well, <laughs> just one more time. Well, in any case, um, Fujine, her face as easy to read as ever, has another card drawn by a very apologetic-looking Sakura sitting to her side. Needless to say, the game ends with Fujine in, in the last place. Oh, 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 Maybe you. Maybe you just suck, Tiger. No, that's just funny. <laughs> well. Ano, Fujimura sensei, Baba Nuki wa yamete, shigau game ni shimasen ka? Play goldfish. Oh. Tatoeba. Watch your soul loose. So. She's probably trying to come up with something when revealing your hand through facial expressions doesn't matter as much. Bluff and precedent on the first one's out. <laughs> Bluff. That said, after nervous breakdown, going fair while messing up the whole place, so remaining difficulty is explaining the rules to the other two. Openate <laughs> Wow, Blackjack, nice. Oh, She's still gonna lose. Hey, Saber, nice. The Saber getting in on this, Leslie. Sakura proceeds to explain the rules while pretty much just playing with Fujine. There are fewer hands than in poker, and the game itself is just a slow accumulation of points, almost like a sword fight. Even letting your emotions show shouldn't make you lose, but. Uh, I knew it! I knew it, darn it, Tiger! <laughs> Well, it's true that Blackjack isn't a great choice for people who don't know when to stop. <laughs> Lol. Oh, man. Dude. Oh, no. All right, then. The Blackjack round started with the score being set to zero, yet the result is even more prominent than if old maid. <laughs> Saber. That's right. Fujine, your hand full of face cards, and Ryder are making use of her own intelligence. Both have managed to hold on. But in the end, Saber emerged victorious. It's frighteningly addictive. Have a score higher than your opponent, and you'll definitely win the round. Ray's instinct tells you. Gradually, the rules shifted, but basically, Saber ended up facing the other three as a dealer. <laughs> That's hilarious. However, in a fight with Saber, the Great Dragon, all three of them had a weakness. The Great Dragon. I guess Sakura and Ryder are two of a kind. They both have essentially zero luck. Dang. <laughs> Uh, Sakura definitely has zero luck. They keep drawing inferior cards, never quite get enough points to be competitive. <laughs> but I don't, it, Tiger. <laughs> it goes without saying that Fujine draws too many cards and destroys herself before she gets a chance to participate. Because, <laughs> of course. But, but I don't. <laughs> and yet, come to think of it, she's the only one to sometimes win against Saber. Oh, she won sometimes. Wow, nice. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, do it? And then there's a wild nature. Just like a battle between a dragon and a tiger. Played <laughs> Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> つまり負けた方が常に空腹にあえぐということですかそうよ。セーバーちゃんには大きすぎる勝負かしらどうこの勝負受ける勇気があるかのうあ、せい。うん。食後のゲームゆえ、一生の心構えは封印していいでしょう
それほどの大勝負なら本気を出せるというものです申し訳ありませんがお腹がすくのはあなたですまあ。As a household treasure, I will not permit such an outcome. Hi, Bussona Shobu, a so come at it. Dangerous games, I'm going to eat it. Tea and tea cakes in hand and make my way through. Filling the strength with Saber's assault, Fujin ever luckily stepped down. There, I. Oh, man, I gotta go back, though. Um. Oh, here we go. Thankfully, Saber promptly withdrew as well. We chat while sipping tea. Wait, why is everyone with Saber ignoring the tea cakes? What happened? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Sakura, I'm sorry. 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 Oh, dang, that's hilarious. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh, Taiga, please. How old are you? Virginia is stopping her feet like a child. Reinforce my point, I take a tea cake and put it in front of Saber. <laughs> Dang, get wrecked, Taiga. Nanda. <laughs> その時は藤姉に待ったをかけてくれははい今後は気をつけます Are you sure? I don't like that look you're giving me すみません<笑>勝負ごとになるとつい熱くなってしまって Saber reflects on monopolizing the supply of confectionaries I wonder if she did regain her calm 甘い甘すぎる藤村ライガのイリアちゃんビーキバリに猫可愛がりをしろセーバーちゃんにも火はあるギャンブルは参加した人間も捕まるのだ Well that's Ilya so she's allowed to be pampered as much as she freaking wants okay She's an exception はいそんなわけで私にもお船ちょうだい I see Much much down goes the cracker I'll play that It's another common outrageous spectacle but I did establish a new fact today In a gambling game of a hundred rounds, it takes merely ten for Saber to establish herself as a master. <laughs> Saber, the gambling master. Ah,、oh, nice. Second day. Then we got more new ones. Oh my jeez, okay, I see. Goodness gracious. Tosaka residence. Big bridge. Oh, okay, um. Oh, it's the same time. Okay, cool. This is an old one. Okay, so we're still getting like old ones too. Alright, so I think, I think I don't have to worry too much about this.、Uh, I think I can still just like. So we'll check out one of the. 
<laughs> I do wanna... Yeah, I'll check out one of these, um... One of the... Things real quick. It's all you... Yeah, it's, yeah, we're getting all... Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I'll go here first. Go to the big bridge. The Fuyuki Bridge. <laughs> the iconic bridge, man. Since I'm already lording out in the city, I'll try walking across the bridge. A clear sky. The sunlight makes it a bit warm, and the breeze from the ocean cools my cheeks just right. Wasn't this the place where a freaking archer sniped me, punk? It's the start of this three-day weekend, and it's just the right Saturday, rather, for the perfect picnic. Oh, What is that? What'd you see, Shiro? What'd you see? I see a group of children in the park. There's quite a few of them. They brought bats, soccer balls. In fact, there's no way they could use all those toys in one day. Having broken up into East and West teams, they are now competing against each other. Feeling in the mood to just bask in the sun, I lean against the railing and observe the epic battle unfolding in the park. <laughs> the epic battle. Okay, darn it. <laughs> After some twists and turns, it looks like they decided that the match for the morning would be in basketball. Each force would select their finest and ensure the game rises above the ranks of mere child's play. Cheering, booing, excitement, and disappointment. Now that I look around, there are many people sitting on the grass, caught up in the frill of the game along with the kids. Looks like I'm not the only spectator here. Ah, uh, what's that? Are we going down there? It might be the usual bit of danger of the Holy Grail War, but having a little diversion like this isn't too bad. <laughs> oh. oh no, last time we got sniped by Archer and Knights, so though, you know. Time that's neither particularly fun nor boring is not always so easy to come by. A particularly loud cheer comes from the park. The game is over. It was a tight race, but the team that controlled the game wasn't the one of the three oversized primary schoolers. It was actually one of the West Forests of an extremely orthodox formation. <laughs> the players on the winning team were all average, but it was the leader that stood out. The little commander didn't just issue accurate, accurate orders to his teammates. He also, let, he also let out more than enough brilliance as an ace player. Besides being a foreigner or bright blonde hair, it'd be strange if he didn't stand out. Is, is that Gilgamesh? The little blonde commander seems to be the idol. He praises everybody's work with a smile, all while the crowd, all while that, all while the crowd around him after the game. If I see Gilgamesh, I promise you. With that much attention, it would only be the natural for him to start bragging, but he isn't. He really is the perfect boy. We're gonna wait on that and see. Hmm. Mm. I already, I'm already gonna take it back, cause I'm already gonna take it back, cause now I can already tell. For just an instant, our eyes met. I've got good eyesight, but eye-to-eye -eye contact at this distance has to just be a figment of my imagination. Or so I thought. It totally is him, isn't it? Excusing himself a bit, the blonde boy goes right towards the stairs leading up to the bridge, cutting straight through the park. Yep. I freaking knew it! Hi. I feel like that's cheating, because you're actually like mega old. I actually make a mindless response. <laughs> I follow suit automatically. The blonde kid rewards me with a happy smile. <laughs> Crap. I seriously don't remember him. I don't remember ever being greeted by a strange boy. To make matters worse, he came all the way from the park just to see me. I racked my brain, having obviously met him before. I do. <laughs> the boy looks at me with a surprised expression. Do you not know what you look like right now? Because I don't know why you'd be surprised otherwise. I feel really, really guilty, but I don't have a clue, sadly. そっか。お兄さんに武装だし、いきなりじゃ無理ないですね。けど、もう何度か会ってますよ、僕たち。ブ。その時はちょっと服装とか違ってたみたいですけど。ブ。ゴーゴマッシュ、ゲットミアー。
Like, were you reincarnated? Is that why you're saying this? Huh. I'm getting even more confused. The blanket frowns and continues reluctantly. Uh, oh, My bad. Why? Did it... Okay, why did it get dark, first of all? Sekiro, sorry, hold on a minute. So, um... Yeah, also... You're tired of Shinji. You're tired. Yes, but you're tired. I hate both of you the most. That should narrow it down quite a bit, right? Oh, he said that. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're getting... There isn't even a hint of sarcasm in the boy's voice. Even though that he's disliked, his smile is still just as sincere. His blood red eyes look straight at me. Wait a minute. Also, actually, after Shiro, it, it wouldn't make sense for Gilgamesh to be the one he hates the most. Because Shinji did used to be his friend. Somehow. <laughs> but that was the thing, so it makes sense. So yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> there it is. Red eyes and golden hair. Yeah, I think I know one guy that fits that profile. <laughs> oh. I see. No, it can't be. It can't be, but this boy somehow looks... No, more like there are parts of him that are similar to that guy. I He said you literally know him, dude. Uh. Uh. An innocent, angelic smile. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember what you were saying about Saber and the Fate Route Gilgamesh. I don't forget. まあ、今任されたら案外コロッと言っちゃうかもしれませんけど、とりあえず求愛対象ではないです。Okay. Is that referencing Fate Zero? Because I don't remember. Cause I, I think you didn't say that to her in that, like in that um series. But yeah, in Fate Route, we definitely said that. Like, you know, like, you know, how he's like, you know, as he says, pursuing, quote unquote, her. But yeah, he started talking like that in Fate Route. So, is that, is that like kind of everything Fate Zero right there with that line? <laughs> the water in my brain just evaporated. So, basically, this blonde boy is that. There it is. What? When that happen? Bakana. <laughs> All right. This can't be right. No, this really couldn't be right. No, even if there was some mistake, this really, really couldn't be right. I mean, how could he have been such a nice little kid when he was young? Onisa, <laughs> Oh no, you tell me! Hard to answer even though it's about myself. No, no, because it's about my own self, sighs the blonde boy. Ah, I mean, like how we did in that one bad ending where I was like, why didn't we take a saber with us? Ever got torn apart? Okay, so then I'm not gonna do a lot of other stuff first, because I don't want that to happen. <laughs> what a polite bow. What a polite bow. The little blonde kid is about to leave. Like, I don't know if I want your help, buddy. So is is Kota Minai still alive? ほら、僕前科があるじゃないですか。ランサーが死ぬまでおとなしくしていろって言われてたのに、セイバーさんに会いに行っちゃったし。本当、どうしてそういうことするかな。That was during the Holy Grail War half a year ago when he impaled Caster. But Master do you though? Do you? Sure about that, buddy? Yes, even if all the servants are remaining, even if the masters are here who shouldn't be, Kotomine Kirei alone is definitely dead. Okay, so. 
the fuck? けど、ことみねはちゃんと死んでいる。What? I don't... もうこの世にはいません。So your master's a ghost. Okay, cool. Good to know. だから、ことみねきれいはこの状況とは無関係です。僕のことはゲームに関係ない外野だと思った方がいいですよ。うん、この事件とは本当に何の関係もありません。I mean, I didn't even think you did, to be honest. But. Alright, thank you. The blonde boy runs down the stairs. The children rejoice at the return of the idol. As I watch the scene, stunned as I am, I lock into the fact that this holy. Let's say Holy Grail War. As I watch the scene, stunned as I am, I lock into the fact that this boy is him in my memory. Oh, fuck. No, darn it. Oh. Sorry, guys, I missed it. Can I, like. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Of course. Not that it makes any damn sense, no, but you know. <laughs> Got a Lancer scene. Got a Rider scene. That was what I did before, I remember. Nothing in the school. Alright, that was the sock one we already did. Let's see if we can get something from Lancer here. To harbor this familiar face. That's what can be found anywhere, but in the afternoon, this is where he devotes himself to his hobby. Well, what should I ask him about? Here we go, a new one. What is he doing? Is he still fishing? The sky is clear. The autumn mood is covered up. I said moon. The autumn mood is covered up by the intense sunlight. The soft ocean breeze gently caresses my face. Only the screeching of seagulls breaks the peaceful silence of the docks. Without argument, this is a perfect location. Yuki Harbor seems like a place that would be favored by families or couples going out for a walk, and yet... Yep, still fishing, nice. With the arrival of this gangster-looking guy, it's, transfor it's transformed into an ominous place no one dares approach. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It just looks like a guy chilling. In fact, the harmony is downright frightening. Like a swordsman naturally becoming one of his surroundings. This has to be the skill of a pro. As a token of admiration, I'll get a can of coffee from the vending machine. Oi, Sretere. Oh, Bochi Bochi te tokodana. Sabayama, Roda Yon, Kawahagi Sante Tokorda. Good job, Lancer. Good job. Nanda Sore, Sesso Naina. Minato te sonna ni Tsurumonoka. Let's start here becoming a master fisherman. Umi desna, Shuriga Oina, Terimeda. ま、それにしてもちょいとばかり混ざりすぎだが珍しいんだからいいんじゃねえの He sure doesn't seem to care As I pass over the canned coffee I sneak a peek at his fishing bucket There's actually even more variety in the catch than Lancer said サバ多いねなんでか知らねえけど入れ食いでなそうそうちょっと前まではタコが釣れた Dang! What the fuck? Good gracious Lancer yeah, he's straight master, I see. Is that a magic fishing rod? <laughs> At this rate, this guy could rule the sushi world. <laughs> Wait a moment. Looking carefully, there's a critical problem. As the name suggests, the fishing stand is something that supports the fishing rod. It's an indispensable piece of equipment for long fishing trips. Fishing rods are fairly heavy, and in some cases, even a slight vibration will cause the fish to flee. If one is to fish using a rod for half a day or more, stand is a necessity. Oh, nice. I get that. Sometimes, you know, it's just the scenery, and just like, sometimes you just do things to do it to be able to relax. I get that completely. I had hobbies like that, too. Yeah, makes sense to me. As Ezel keeps grumbling, his fishing rod remains motionless. Lancer's arm strength is simply astonishing. Not just his strength, but his machine-like precision and stamina as well. If you look at it, it's okay. You don't have to be able to find the dogs of the dogs. Did you find that dog in the dog? Oh, there's a sweet dog, right? ヘッピリ腰を一日かけて直してやったらよお礼にって譲ってくれたのさなんでか次の日から顔見せなくなったけどなナイスアッサムランサーラフスアウトラウド
Coach Lancer. That sounds more like extortion. Yeah, ma, ma, to on to kono ni chan nan da kedo na. Jinji is Oaken. Ute, Shinji ka yo. Man, the wonder he's always moping at the edge of the docks. Ne, sekkaku moratta nan da kara furu katsuyo shite iru to. Sore de mai ni chi tsuri zanmai nano ka. Anta ga otonashiku shite ru bun ni wa anshin da kedo sa. Tsuri te sonna ni tanoshii nano ka. Tanoshisa o tomonatta tanren te toko ka. Koetsu ni ya choi to jishin ga aru. Koto tsuri ni kanshi cha saaban to jiu sai kyou no jifu ga aru ne. Nice. ギリシャの大英雄はともかくどこぞのコピーバカや竿も持てねえ貧弱王子には入ってこれない男の世界だ。A great hero of Greece, Sir Hercules. What happened? Ah,、uh, I just felt a crevice opening up. What happened? I sense an eminent storm approaching the small dog. いいのかなそんなこと言って。口は災いの元だぞ、ランサー。I have never heard that before. ん影口の報復があるってことかなもお前が言いふらさねえ限り広まらねえよ。What if I tell them? ま、広まったところでどうってことねえけどな。殺し合いがしたいなら受けて立つだけさ。Okay, I see. No intention to start a conflict, but willing to accept any challenge. Is that Lance's attitude? Yeah, seems like it. Hey, got one, nice. Lance yanks up the rod. サバか。サバだな。Apparently unsatisfied with his catch, Lancer moves the hook and tosses the fish back into the ocean. It's cool. I mean, you got a bunch anyway, so you should be good. Just saying. The conversation ends here. There's no place harder to cope with than there's no place harder to cope with than a fishing ground of nothing to talk about. Jamaste Varukata. Hikizuki, Saba o Triage de Cre. Oh, Sashi de Sankuna. Man, he got a whole freaking octopus. He's fine, all right? He's not struggling. He's fine. I leave the docks behind. People, they can't understand each other if they don't communicate. To me, the dock is extremely boring, but it's Lance's favorite place to be. Yeah. The docks are as joyous as a summer day. I pray the tranquility won't be ruined by any senseless intruders. You mean like the demonic beast? Then PM. All right. So, yeah, now we're gonna click that、um, point. That, that's my, the exclamation point, I mean. Right, his room. Now, then, speaking of things to ask Ryder about, about the Holy Grail War. I'm at the door to Ryder's room. <sighs> I don't like this, but I have to ask Ryder what she thinks. I couldn't in the morning since the opportunity didn't present itself. It should be a little easier to get a serious face to face conversation flowing at this hour. Hi! ライダー、話があるんだけど。I speak out as I slide the door open. We'll chat for a bit, then depending on how it goes, I'll try asking her about her, about her real intentions. そうですね。What's happening? 正直に言ってしまえば、さくらに危険が及ばなければそれでいい。仮に聖杯戦争が本格化し、町が崩壊したところで、私は何も。Okay, I see. I mean, I understand that, but like, dang. So, not having Sakura around turned out to be a plus. <laughs> She speaks her mind calmly and with no reservations. On a second thought, that's definitely a minus. The intensity of her reply sends shivers down my spine. So, <laughs> what? Eh, what's that? I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. But if I'm going to be able to do it, I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. サクラが勝利を望むのであればそうなります。私は私のできる範囲で今度こそ聖杯戦争を勝ち抜くでしょう。Uh -oh. uh. 学園を血に染めたようにキャスターを上回る規模でフラットフォートを展開させる覚悟もある。Goodness gracious, I see. Alrighty then. シロ、それを阻むというのであればあなたが相手でも容赦もしません。Well. Uh -huh. This is problematic. If, although it's really big, if by a stroke of really bad luck, Sakura decides to make such a decision, I can't tell Ryder that I won't go against her, painful as it is. If Sakura were to lose a way, then I would have no choice but to resist. Ryder knows this full well, so she didn't ask me to ally, to, me to ally with Sakura. So, now, most of the time, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. 
I did not expect to hear that she would sacrifice the whole town's population. I mean, same, but you know. <laughs> the image of Ryder that I got over the last six months is that of a woman who has many interests but simply doesn't act on most of them. Uh, okay. Hello? Oh, okay. I got you now, I got you. What if the opponent can time loop? <laughs> it feels as if my body's about to literally freeze up. Oh, my bad, I didn't mean to do that. Her mystic eyes behind her glasses, so suppressed, paralyzed my extremities. Yeah.仮に桜が戦う気になっても、桜はそんな方法は許さない。違うか。でしょうね。けれど、私と桜の方針は根本が異なります。Ryder's self-deprecating reply blends together with an ominous image.違う。そんなことはない、ライダー。半年も同じ家で暮らしたんだぞ。ライダーがどんな人間かは嫌でも感じ取れる。お前、あんたがあんなのと同じだなんて言わせない。well, it's because of my dizziness. Like an idiot, I let my feelings flare up in a way that's very unlike me. Shiro, it's a good thing. I'm a human being. 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 I'm a レイがいなく食い尽くした。こうして今人の姿をしているからと言って、それを否定することはできません。メドゥーサの伝説は知ってる。けどあれは向こうからやってきたもんだろ。ライダーはいつだって襲われる側だったじゃないか。It wasn't Ryder's fault that she was turned into an ugly monster that she was hunted by humans. True, very true. The female monster by the name of Medusa has always been a victim in the end. その証拠に今ここにいるライダーは人を襲わない。桜を大事に思ってくれて、俺たちにだって気を使ってくれるちゃんとした人間だ。それは私が英霊としてのメドゥーサだからです。サーバント。いえ、英霊は英雄の前世
より怪物としての属性を強めていった。The food chain between humans, demons, and heroes. Humans cannot win against demons. Demons, and de demons are defeated by heroes, and heroes are regulated by humans. Thanks to that rule, the, the now transformed monster Medusa endlessly murdered humans to grow stronger, only to be sacrificed to one lone hero. So, I am the one who is 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 the one who あなたにはわからない私にだってこの後私がどんな怪物になるか考えることさえできないのですから No matter how much I try to overlook it, her real self is that of a monster, Rado explains matter of factly. I have neither the right nor power to deny that. なんだってこんな時に言うんだ Probably as a warning? 俺はライダーをそんな風に見たことはないしこれからだって変わらないただセイバーと同じように情けない俺にはライダーにそんなことをするなって言うことしかできないいいえ私も意地が悪かったどうしてか今のシロに話して困らせたいと思ったのです。あ、okay, well, <笑>あ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、あですが忘れないでくださいシロ、oh. その時になれば私は人間を喰らう怪物になるということを In her voice, I can sense a faint pleading tone. 分かったその時は俺も覚悟を決めるけどそれはもしもの話ださくらがライダーのマスターである限り決してその時なんて来ないよ Huh. Are, like, are these beasts that we're seeing, like that we saw in the one bad ending, and then we saw Bazette in an Avenger fight? Like, are these beasts like the servants turning into them? Is that what's happening with that? Huh. I wonder how much of her feelings I understood. At the very least, I'll look her straight in the eye and leave the room. That's what like, happens over like, the course of four days. Third day. What else we got here? <laughs> no hesitation. <sighs> yeah, my girl. <laughs> she likes shopping. Wait, what is this? <laughs> this? I like this image. It's neat. No later than she produced that joyful utterance, Ilya dashed into the shop. Ilya, <laughs> she can run all she wants. My voice can no longer reach her. Well, then it seems I've been left all alone at the storefront, but. I am pierced by all kinds of stares from around me. This is a boys prohibited fancy shop, and the discomfort is nothing to joke about. <laughs> What do you mean, boys prohibited? What if boys can buy stuffed animals too? It's fine. Leave me alone. An urge to flee takes me over for a brief moment, but I can't just leave Ilya behind. Shiro, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, Ilya, I'm coming. Ilya returned to lead me inside by the hand. <laughs> Perfect. Only of that did the stairs from around me soften up a bit. Nice. To begin with, we're here simply because she asked. Makes sense. <laughs> During one of her raids, Ilya saw Saber, her usual stuff, lying. <laughs> what was this from? This was in something. I don't remember what it was. Was it Carnival Phantasm? Forget. During one of her raids, Ilya saw Saber for usual stuff lying, and after teasing Saber for a while. Perfect. <laughs> so we decided to get it. Because Ilya gets whatever she wants, no matter what. And thus, we're here to buy Ilya a stuffed toy. Nice. 
Saber's Lion is a unique item. Who'd you name it at a game center? I can't get another one like that. So instead, I'm gonna buy Ilya a stuffed animal she likes. <laughs> well, leaving that aside, she does look charming in her own way as she examines all the various stores. She always looks charming, that's just how she is. The straight facts with her. <laughs> Give me a choice, please give me a choice. <laughs> Siblings would be impossible. Our hair and eye colors are completely different and we look nothing alike. Adopted? Step? Come on now, it's fine. <laughs> give me a choice, please. <laughs> We're too close in age to be parent and child. Well, going with the most appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to say it. You, you said something to be impossible, so why'd you, even, why'd you say this then? Make up your mind, Shiro, darn it. Make up your mind. <laughs> Don't freak. Don't freaking right. 110%. And hot. <clears throat> Flattery or not, I think Ilya is cute just the way she is. That's just facts right there. But then, that doesn't extend to the part about Berserker and saying things like, I'll just kill you. <laughs> speak for yourself! Huh. Never say it, speak for yourself. That's where terror surpasses it by a wide margin. No, it mixes with it. <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> そういう小さい女の子が好きな男の人と間違えられちゃうんじゃないの <laughs> Ah, uh, great. What an orb to Tosaka teacher. <laughs> On the other hand, it's a perfectly logical assumption after seeing me walk around places like these together, Ophelia. If I get spotted by a classmate, who knows what misunderstandings will happen. <laughs> Watch one of them show up. Well, a rumor of no basis to it will say just that. A baseless rumor, so I should maintain my dignity. <laughs> Any day of the week. Ilya clings tightly to my arm. I take back what I said. This is the way to do this in a dignified manner. Fuck dignity! Never mind. <laughs> as gently as I can, I shake her off my arm, staying as discreet as possible. Uh oh. Uh oh. I feel like that was a really bad idea. Sure. Well, I mean, speaking as Dragon Force, I already regret that, that we didn't do it in the other scene before this, but you know, that's just, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shiro. Apparently dissatisfied with my answer, she, she puffs her cheeks and goes back to looking at stuffed animals. She's about to mur she's about to murder the wallet. Eventually, she finds something cat-like and turns back towards me. Would you call that a catman or something? At any rate, that's the toy she's holding out in front of me. だらけた猫にしか見えないな。俺には <laughs> Still not giving up. Uh, come again? I mean, she warned you. Warned you, you should have just said yes. What did she say just now? That's what you think it means. Lol. <laughs> Watch it just be that she wants to name it Shiro, though. <laughs> That'd be a funny joke. She just says, I just wanted to name it Shiro. Her eyes happily move on to the next toy. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> nah, I'm staying. Worth it. 
I already hate myself for thinking that I couldn't leave Illy behind just a moment ago. No, you can't. <laughs> no, that surely was a joke for sure. But to be on the safe side, I better splurge with some dessert on the way home just to curry your favor. <laughs> like I said, murder the wallet. <laughs> oh, that was great. All right, so yeah. Oh, oh, I go. I'm just gonna. So I'm gonna check real quick to see what we do next time, because those look like new stuff. We got a new saber one too. The fifth temple sword. So, um, all right. That's not new. So, um, yeah, I guess that's a different. And uh, see, we already did then. All right. So hmm, next time, I guess. Just, just um, next time we talk to Saber and then Ayako, and um, then this. Last time, this was very unsettling and concerning, and I don't like it. But we'll go here again anyway. But yeah. So we got to do some more fate stay in the kitchen and then fate clean in the kitchen that was great <laughs> but yeah oh man Sakura freaking tiger freaking tiger too man uh she got her butt whooped in all the games and then we got some very interesting scenes with um Ryder and Lancer you know talk about the stuff and then Gilgamesh <laughs> Gilgamesh <laughs> like that was come on Cheryl you should have known that was obvious that it was <laughs> but yeah, like Ryder scene was especially interesting what she was talking about. It made sense, like what she explained at the end, but like woof. <laughs> Ryder was worrying me for a minute there. And yeah, now I'm pretty sure that the um well not pretty like about 80% sure that the whole like demon beast things that we see sometimes are um like are the servants getting turned into those throughout these four days we go through. But you know. I could be wrong, but we'll see. And also Ilya stays trying. She stays trying, and I love it. <laughs> just saying. Missed opportunity. I'm just saying. And now it's time for the question of the day. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a different kind of question of the day for this one. Because it's not actually going to be Fate Hollow Roxy related. But it is going to be Type Moon related. So yeah, I'm curious. Because, you know, since I've been playing this, I'm actually curious um, if you guys... Would be interested in me playing other Titan Moon games as well because I haven't played anything outside of Fate. Like I played Fate Stay Night, and like so, I, all my knowledge is only related to Fate. But I've been kind of um, getting more interested in wanting to play the other stuff now. So I know Suki Hime is a big one too, and it has a whole remake now as well. So yeah, I just I'm just curious if you guys would um, want me to play other other stuff from Titan Moon as well because I don't I don't have any knowledge of the other ones. Cause like I said before when I started this, like I, I had already played Fate Stay Night before starting the channel, <laughs> so I couldn't do that on the channel even though I wanted to. But yeah, I'm, cause I think it'd be really fun for me to do something that I'm completely blind to and don't know any of the characters or anything at all. Like, well, Tsukihime, um, I barely know from Carnival Phantasm. <laughs> I don't think that really counts, cause like, obviously that's like played up for humor and stuff, cause <laughs> like for for all breaking really hilarious stuff. But yeah. And even then, I didn't watch the Tsukihime episodes. I only watched the fa the, uh, the Fate episodes and the date ep the Super Harem date episode because that was hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, other than that, I don't really know much about Tsukihime at all. And I don't know, like, the other stuff, I really don't know. So yeah. And let me know which one in particular you like, whether it's Tsukihime or, um... What was the other ones? I don't even, see, I don't even know the names of the other ones. I know there's a lot now. <laughs> but yeah. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you next video. Until then. Later.